guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do film like a little vlog of what I'm doing today. So it's currently 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, so basically today I woke up, slept in, my friends stayed the night here because my family was away. So they stayed here with me and then we slept in and then we hung out for a few hours and then they left. And then I went for a walk just around my neighborhood. And then I came back, made some lunch and then I went to the grocery store. So I didn't film in the grocery store because you're not allowed, but I thought I would film a little grocery haul of what I got because I love watching grocery hauls to see what people got. Um, and yeah, I thought I would film that. Um, but I got this new shirt yesterday. You probably can't even read it. So it says, good things are coming, which if you know me, um, you know that I love inspirational quotes. I put them up as decoration. I like to wear them as clothing. Um, but yeah, so I got this shirt at Ardeen and I love it. It's so cute. I love the color. It's a really pretty lilac. And I like it just to wear around my house. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a little intro. I'm currently in my kitchen. That's why the lighting is so bad because it's so dark in here. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a little grocery haul um, just so you can see what I got at the grocery store. So this is for my whole family. Um, they're away right now, so I went and picked up groceries for the whole family. I took their list, my list, everything. So first I have Clementines. Um, I eat these like every day as snacks while I'm working. Then I have romaine lettuce in this bag. We use these reusable bags. I don't know where we got them. Oh, the brand is called Think Kitchen. Um, but these are really great and I just put them right in the fridge. So I got romaine. I got three lemons in this bag and I like to put this in water or we also make homemade margaritas. I also got two huge heads of broccoli and we put this in with like different pastas or if we're doing like a sheet meal. So I got one sweet potato. We already have one here. We like to make sweet potato fries and stuff like that. And then we got a bag of party mix. Two bags of shredded cheese, one bag of pepperoni, one little thing of ham, and one thing of pizza sauce. Obviously we're making pizzas this week. That's one bag down. In the next bag, we have some whole grain um, wraps. So we like to make chicken wraps for lunches and stuff like that. And then we have, oh, they squish the bread. We have a thing of bread, this is multi-green. Uh, Weight Watchers bread, it's good. And then we have whole grain um, little pita breads. So we like to make um, pitas with like vegetables and chicken and all that kind of stuff in there. So I got one thing of cold brew. So I'm gonna have some cold brew this week. I got two big things of almond milk, one for my cold brew and then one for my smoothies. Three limes also to make for margaritas or to put in um, like just with some water. And then, oh, I also got feta because I'm gonna do that little like feta tomato pasta dish. So I also got pasta for that too. I just don't know where that is. So that's another bottle or another bag down. I got a thing of strawberry bubbly, which I love bubbly because um, it's just water, but it's fun to drink. I got nacho chips. Uh, sour cream and onion chips from my mom. Four nacho chips, pizza dough mix, hamburger. Okay, this is getting a little bit too much. I got ruffles. I have grape tomatoes, raspberries to put on top of my overnight oats. Oh, I have more coffee. Oh, I forgot I got two. I have more coffee. I have, this is really good. If you are dairy free, which I'm not, but I try to as much as possible, this is Bliss Almond Milk and it's like vanilla, so it's really good in coffee. I've got some avocados. Thanks. If you know that, you're cool. Um, and I got some spinach. I like putting this in my smoothies in the morning. I got some more bananas also for snacks and smoothies. Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Okay. And then I got Bar filet pasta to make, this is a really bad angle. Bar filet pasta to make with the feta and the grape tomatoes and then I just some sour cream 
And I think that's everything, but I'm gonna put this away. And then while I'm putting it away, I just have my iPad here. And I'm just gonna watch either YouTube, maybe Netflix, maybe, I don't know, probably just YouTube. So I love YouTube. But yeah, that's kind of, that's a really long clip. But I love seeing what people make for groceries. Since my family's not coming home for a while, I think, because I don't know if they'll like this, but I think I'm going to make the tomato feta pasta thing um, because I really want to try it. I saw it on TikTok. I'll probably add it in this video because it's just a vlog. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make that. I think it'll be really good. Anyway, I'm excited about it. So yeah, I will um, see you when I make my pasta. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just going to start with the pasta. So I'm just gonna wash these little grape tomatoes um, and then I'm gonna put them in this little pan thing here with some feta and a little bit of olive oil. And I think, I think you put Italian seasoning. So I just washed these off. So I'm just going to pour them in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour these in. And then I'm just gonna open up feta. I took uh, cherry tomatoes, I took like, just a whole package, and then I just put like, I don't know, a little bit of feta cheese, you saw how much I put in, and then I just took some Greek um, spice, put that over, and a little bit of olive oil, and then I just put it in the oven at 375 um, for it to get browned up, kind of, and then all you have to do is mix it together, and then you throw in your pasta. So I'm gonna heat up some, I'm gonna boil up some water right now, and then I'll put in some of these. And then I also have some chicken in the fridge that I cooked yesterday that I didn't eat all of. So I'll probably put some of that in for protein. But yeah, I'm trying it out, see what it's like. It, apparently it's really good, so I'm trying that. Awesome. Okay, so I just took the tomato feta mixture out of the oven, and this is what it looks like. So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure if I cooked it enough, but I'm gonna try to see if this is good. So I have my bow tie noodles and I cooked way too much, like usual. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in here. I may have to add some more feta. Like, I don't even know if I did this right. And then I'm just gonna mix it around. I don't think like, I did this right. Okay, this might be a big fail, but yeah. This is what it looks like. I think you're supposed to squish up the tomatoes. Maybe I put too many tomatoes in. I don't know. This is kind of what it looks like. I might put it back in the oven. Because this is what it looks like. It does look good. I'm just gonna add some more noodles. You know what? I think this might be good. That's kind of what it looks like. Some noodles in there. It's really pretty. Squish those up. That looks good. I think I might add some parmesan on there. Let me try one of the noodles. Okay, here's one of the noodles. Oh my god. That is so good. Okay, this doesn't need anything, I don't think. Oh my god, that is so good. Okay, I'm gonna get a bowl. Okay, that was literally so delicious. Oh my god, I'm actually shocked. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's very smoky. Okay, this is so good. I'm so excited, oh my god. Okay, that makes it like a rose kind of sauce. But yeah, that's that. I'm gonna chop up some chicken and just put it on top. I'm gonna turn off the oven. <laughs> I honestly wasn't sure if it was gonna turn out, but it was very easy, and I feel like anybody could really make it. Because all you, it's literally three ingredients. It's feta cheese, cherry tomatoes, and um, 
just like bow tie noodles or whatever noodle you want. And then I'm just adding chicken. You could add like tofu or whatever, or you don't have to add anything. I'll show you. This is, oh, <laughs> this is the final look. There's some tomatoes. Um, the pasta. Mm, it's really good. And I have some chicken in there. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend making this. But yeah, I don't really know what my plans are for tonight. I might sit down and edit this video. It is Super Bowl Sunday, which <laughs> my first YouTube video is no longer up on this channel. It was from like two or three years ago. I was in university and I did a Super Bowl party get ready with me where I put on my makeup and did my hair and picked up my outfit and then I went to a friend's house to watch the Super Bowl. Um, but uh, yeah, it's no longer on this channel. So um, I don't know, maybe if you comment down below if you want me to react to that video. It's a little embarrassing. Um, just everything from what my dorm room looked like to how I did my makeup, just my editing and it was, it was pretty funny to look at. This just kind of makes, brings me back because here I am actually having like uploaded like, I think I'm at like nine videos now or 10 videos. Let me know and I'll uh, do a reaction to that video. Um, I think it's kind of funny when people do that um, because we definitely change a lot uh, over the years. So I thought it was really funny, but yeah, maybe I'll do one of those videos soon. Um, I also did a dorm room tour of that same dorm room, um, which I thought that dorm room was like the sickest thing ever. Like I thought it was so cool. I thought I was like such an interior designer and like all this stuff, but it really was like just so tacky. Um, so maybe I'll do a review of my dorm room. Um, what's my other video? Oh, I did a packing vlog from university. So maybe I'll do a, a reaction video to all three of those because they are quite funny. <laughs> to look back on because I was so nervous like talking in front of the camera and I had like this big old freaking cam Canon camera and everything was just out of zoom like the lighting was bad like the lens was like so close to my face you couldn't see anything behind me it was just my editing was horrible I left in like so much random stuff that was just so boring and there was no music behind it like it was it was horrible but Anyway, I think it'd be funny to react to it because I think it's really funny when YouTubers react to their old videos. Anyway, I'm just gonna go eat this and then I think I'm just gonna relax and chill for this evening. I have to clean my room and clean my office because tomorrow's Monday and I have to work tomorrow. So I always like to start the week off on a good note, having everything clean, organized, ready to go. Um, so I can have a productive week and really just get everything done and all that kind of stuff. So I really hoped you enjoyed my grocery haul and me cooking this fabulous pasta that I'm gonna enjoy here. Um, but yeah, if you wanna subscribe, leave a comment below. If you wanna see me react to some of my privated college videos that I made, university videos, whatever you wanna call it, like my dorm tour, Super Bowl party, that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I would do it because I think it's funny. If you can't laugh at yourself, then there's a problem in my opinion. I love to laugh at myself. Um, so I think it would be really funny, um, but let me know. I'm cringing just thinking about it, but uh, I think it would be really funny and it would definitely bring me back because I'm a little nostalgic, even though I'm only a year out of university. I'm a little nostalgic on those days. I really miss university. I like having a job and having a YouTube channel now, but I miss my friends from university and I miss like all that, like living in with roommates and that kind of stuff. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.